Hi! Hello everyone! This is George. Welcome to tech to tinker In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use an RF433 radio transceiver module with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here is a pair of RF433 transmitter and receiver modules from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kits. These modules uses the on-off keying or OOK and the amplitude shift keying or ASK which are the commonly used radio frequency modulation techniques. I actually don't have prior knowledge in using these modules. So I did some quick research and I found this video showing how he uses RF433 modules without an MCU. Let me play it and let's watch it. Where he uses an, a switch and an LED. Where he control the LED by pressing the button. So what I did, since I have the exact same modules, these same modules, this one for the transmitter and this one for the receiver, and I made this circuit, which should be identical to this video. So basically, the transmitter is sending the state of the button, which is active low, because there is a pull-up resistor here from BCC to the data pin while the receiver is like this the LED will turn on when the data receives a state high so let me power this circuit the problem with this circuit is the antenna maybe is not that good so as you can see the LED is on when my finger is moving near it will turn on for an unknown reason since I have an extra modules of RF433, I created the exact circuit because this one is not working properly. So I have here, let me transfer the power. So the circuit is exactly the same. I just removed the limiting resistor in the LED because this module from Gorilla Cell is not giving enough power. This should be enough to demonstrate and this this is working properly so when i press the button it should turn on the led and if i remove it it will turn off the led so maybe i should hold it when i press turn on the led when i remove it should turn off the led press so basically, this RF433 modules can work without a microcontroller. But for the sake of our playlist, because this playlist is for MicroPython tech notes, we will use a microcontroller, which is, in our case, it's an ESP32 development board. So I will remove this one and let's go using the ESP32. So what I did is I prepared a two circuit here. One is for receiving and another for transmitting. So basically, this old version of ESP32 shield is sending data to the new version of Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield. At the top is the receiver and here is the transmitter. Hence, this one is TX and this one is RX. This module has three pins which are G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. So for the receiver module, the signal pin is for receiving the data. While for the transmitter module, the S pin is for sending a radio frequency data. For this lesson, I choose both GPIO23 to serve as signal pin. So here in transmitter, the yellow pin is connected on GPIO23, same as in the receiver circuit, which is connected on GPIO23. Now for the software part, I prepared here two example 
both for the receiver and the transmitter. So the, at the top is the receiver and at the bottom is the transmitter. Let me select example number one for the transmitter and example number one also for the receiver. It basically starts by importing the pin class from the machine module then also import the sleep ms class from the time module to create some delays then create a pin object named receive which is connected on gpio 23 with the pin direction set as input now since the receiver i want to use the onboard led i created a, another pin object named led which is connected on gpio 2 that is the onboard led with the pin direction set as an output and in the main loop i just set the state of the led according to the state of the receive pin which is connected on gpio 23 which is connected on the receiver module and add some delays let's say 50 milliseconds while for the transmitter imports are the same i created a transmit pin which is connected also on GPIO 23 with a pin direction set as an output. And I want to use the boot button, which is connected on GPIO 0 with a pin direction set as an input to send the state to the other side on the receiver side of the circuit. Here, in while true, okay, let me change this back again because I changed it a little bit. This one is switch that value here in the main loop the value to be transmitted is dependent on the value of the boot switch to simulate that let me click the run button on the receiver source code and also on the transmitter source code now when i press the boot button the state of the onboard led should change this but this one is not holding the state. The moment you press, the value will change a little bit for some milliseconds only. And it returns to 1. To better demonstrate that 1, I decided to use instead just to toggle the state of transmit pin. Let me save this one. Let me stop and click the run button again which will send a toggling value to the receiver side as you can see the onboard led is now toggling which is dependent here that should be enough for example number one let me stop it and let's go to example number two so for example number two since I really don't know how to use the RF433, I don't have the prior knowledge. And I am thinking that these modules uses a modulation, right? So I thought, why not use a UART serial for handling the communication? That's why here, in the receiver source code, I use the UART and also in the transmitter side. So here, the needed is TX. And this side is the RX. So basically, receiver side will just check if there is data in the serial. If there is data, print it out in the REPL. So let me run this one. Of course, this one will print whatever is in the receiver's transmitter side. Since this one is not yet running, so... Let me run example number two for the transmitter side so that this one will stop. Now, if we want to send a message from the transmitter to the receiver, to the other side, by using the radio frequency, copy this one, using a UART, by using the UART serial, we can superimpose or modulate our signal so that it can be transmitted through an RF signal. So here, we will send this is a test message through a UART serial. So if I press this one, the data should be received on the other side. As you can see here, we can try again. Let's say 
Hello. Um, back to Tinker. And hit enter. And it is received on the other side. As you can see here. So that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this lesson, please write your message in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss video contents uploaded in the near future. Thank you and have a good day ahead. See you next time. God bless.